Oh, my hearties, a very, very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, and it's Saturday night, Saturday the 9th of April, 2022. It's nine o'clock exactly, and it's time for the internet phone in. One hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation, but for every nation of the world. Lovely to have you with us, and Dinky Doo. Hello, Scotty, says Gorbals Boy. Hello, Gorbals Boy, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome to Saturday night to the internet phone in. Reggae says, DJ Reggae says, hi. Hi, DJ Reggae. So good to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I say. Can you say hi to Alice? I can, Gnip. Yes, indeed. Gnip wants me to say hi to Alice so we can say hi to Alice. Uh, this is the big one. It is DJ Regan. Karim has joined us and is very generously sending me lots and lots of gifts on the TikTok feed. I thank you, Karim. How marvellous. So good of you wishing bottles. Evening, Scotty Dinky Do. Thank you very much. For your weights as well, Karim. That will keep me fit. Thomas Hamilton has just joined us and says, Hello, pal. Professor Numptihid has joined just before Thomas. And he says, Hello. Hello there. Uh, Martin's joined and says, Hello, Lala. LinkedIn user says, What's your position on Boris in the Ukraine? I'm monitoring the Ukraine very, very carefully indeed until I find out exactly what's going on there. <clears throat> we have to be very careful not to demonize Russia and the Russian people, and we need to find out what is going on, the full story. Uh, where are you? Have you got the light suit? Why is it looking dark, Andrew? There we are. I thought it was looking quite light, actually, to be honest with you. Hi, Scotty, says Susan. Hi, Susan. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. Now, what have we got here? Uh, thoughts on Boris giving anti-ship system uh, nepotism. That's quite a uh, serious discussion. Why are you discussing tonight, Sir DJ Reggie? So many things, DJ Reggie. We were going to talk about uh, all this uh, stuff that's going on at the moment about um, trans people using toilets, not allowed to use toilets, all the rest of it. And as I said the other day, in our house we have a toilet and everybody uses it. End of. Sorted. Uh, we're flying to Iceland tomorrow to complete one of Glesley's wishes. John, that is incredible. I send good wishes with you, and I send you strength and love as always. Chris Grant is being incredibly generous tonight on the TikTok gifts. What on earth are we getting? Did you have a horse? On for the Grand National. No, I don't actually do the Grand National because it worries me that the horses may get damaged. So there we go. Good evening, Mr. Max. It's N.G. Mills. Uh, hearing you loud and clear from our holiday cottage in Edsel. I do love Edsel. And you're very close to Fask House, the home of the late William Ewart Gladstone. Uh, so there we are. I got, I called a ghost something and got blocked. Are you having a good night? John, yes, we're having an excellent night. Where did you get blocked? Um, incredible stuff, I say. Dinky doo says Cannaboys. Cannaboys, how lovely to have you with us. And a massive dinky doo to you. This is the big one. Can everybody watching on YouTube make sure you're subscribed? And everybody on the old TikTok, make sure you have followed Scotty McClue. There we are. Uh, uh, Chris says, I was having a procedure at the hospital on Thursday, and one is the Theta Nurses may join. Oh, excellent. That would be wonderful. We welcome the Theta Nurses. How's it going, says Metcal? Metcal, it's going swimmingly well. Uh, Scotty, do you think solar might be the answer to the electric bill going through the roof? LinkedIn user, I see what you just did there. Solar going through the roof. <laughs> Lights out for landing. Permission to land? Yes, indeed. Yes, we're ready. We're ready for landing, and uh, we can give you clearance. Runway 03. If you get lined up, we'll bring you in. Thank you very much indeed, Andrew. Uh, your TikTok lives is one of the TikTok's trending lives. DJ Reggie, that is incredible news. I love it. 
Fantastic. I was showing her your channel on YouTube, Chris. That is tremendous. Thank you. The YouTube channel has got a new name. So get on to it and have a look at what you think. So there we are. It's the voice of the world radio talk show. Yes, indeed. And that's what because I was a bit anxious. There was something not performing about the YouTube channel, and for some reason, everybody wasn't subscribing as you would expect them to do. So I thought to myself, well, maybe nobody's going to look up the internet phone in. So hopefully we'll see a big difference there. Anyone on YouTube needs to give Scotty a big, big thumbs up. DJ Reggae, I thank you. Hello, Sir Scotty, how are you, Sir Pinky? I really am a big fan of yours, Pinky, for coming and joining us after you and I had an argy bargy the other day. Hi buddy, a wee shout out to your number one fan, Jeff. Yes, Jeff4061. A massive shout out to you and a big dinky do. Has everybody followed us on the TikTok? If you haven't, hide your head in shame, I say. Now I know you will. I think you have to click the top left, guys, uh, because millions of people have watched the TikTok videos, but only uh, I think about 20,000 of you have actually followed. Can you let me in? You're in football clips. What, Scotty? Uh, Pinky, no problem at all. That's what I'm saying. There is not a problem. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, football clips, for your follow. Very much appreciated. Never scroll, never troll. That's the rules of the internet for Scotty McClue. Uh, when you come across Scotty, you have hit on TikTok's top talk show. This is the big one. All right, Scotty Hulett, how lovely to have you with us. We're on the live, big man. So what do you want to talk about now? Well, Jeff, we can talk about anything you like, but I think that we need to have unisex toilets so that the trans people don't feel left out. Um, was this the one about the monarchy? Sir? That was it, Pinky, you are correct. You're 100% correct. You and I had a wee bit of argy-bargy, and I admired you for coming back on tremendous. Excuse me, week comfort break. It's roasting in the studio tonight. So I'll just do a quick walk down. Ooh. Well, I do declare, you know, this is it. You find the beards a bit warmer. Uh, Scotty, do you think the house prices might crash? Now Boris has kicked out the oligarchs. Well, no, I think the oligarchs were more or less treating London as just a financial market property-wise. Uh, so property that was maybe worth, I don't know, a couple of million quid, they'd shoved up to 15, 16 million. But um, you might see a change in London, but I don't think you'll see a crash per se. The only thing is the, the housing market will at some point get a little bit toppy. It turns out I was wrong about that. And to be honest, you told me off, sir, Pinky, forget it. That's gone. These days have gone. Uh, now, what have we got here? Lots and lots of shit. Morning, Scotty Triggs. How lovely to have you with us. And thank you. Hello from Calder Crooks, Scotty. It's great to see you, David. It's always great to see you as well. I am in London. God knows why you are in London. You've told me that before. There's Ewan. Can you shout out to Jamie the Challenger? It's his birthday. Yes, I can do. A big shout out to Jamie for his birthday. Fantastic. Well done, Ewan. Uh, thank you to Scotty. Absolutely everybody. Scotty, who says Crystal? Now, Crystal's obviously some lost soul that knows nothing about nothing. So if you and I knew absolutely nothing, Crystal would know marginally less. There we are, Scotty, who, what a cheek. Follow us as soon as you can. Hello, son. Hello, Arthur. Good to have you with us. Excellent stuff. How are your eyes doing? They're great, Jeff. Absolutely, no problem at all. I still have the glasses, but I can't hear a thing uh, without them, you know. Fantastic. Uh, so there we go. Have you made any progress on your study of who shot Michael Collins? Uh, the IRA terrorist, Scotty. Well, no. Was Michael Collins really a terrorist? Because he was speaking big style with the British government in London. Am I not correct? There we are, 1,000 lights. Scotty, you're a legend. Hello from the UK. Dinky do, dinky do. I'm having a Scottish lady over for dinner. What can I make 
to impress her. Mince and potatoes. <coughs> there we are. A bottle of, and he mentions, a tonic wine tonight, big man. Do you, Robert? I don't drink alcohol, so I won't be partaking. Sorry to disappoint you. There were hi from Eccleston in Manchester. We miss you from the Magic Radio Days, LinkedIn user. I loved living in Manchester. What a joy, but there's only one of me. Thank you, Jeff, for sending lovely gifts of coral. Uh, Scotty, what do you do? And you're apparently well known. What do I do, Crystal? I broadcast. There you are. That's what I do. I'm a broadcaster. Fantastic stuff. Two billion people know Scotty McClue. One in four of the world's population know Scotty McClue. Not just amazing. Uh, Scotty, you ready for your weekly call from Belfast? I'm watching you on the big screen on YouTube. Oh my goodness, Richard. I hope it's all right. You're making me nervous now. Yes, I'd love a call from you. In fact, I'm going to open the phone lines right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the telephone lines for Scotty McClure are now officially open. Anybody wanting to call, feel free so to do. Richard is a good guy, says Gobbles Boy. He's an excellent guy. Will my parents know you? I would hope so, Crystal. Uh, now, what scotch do you recommend? I don't recommend alcohol. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, that man is Martin. Martin, how lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo, how are you, Lala? Very well, Lala. Yes, absolutely. All is well. You see it all in front of you. What's uh, happening what's with that? you? See, I think you were saying about Angus. I think about, about the toilets. What is, what is that? About the what? The toilets? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, what that. happened is, you know you get people who are trans. So they've uh -huh. been born a guy and they want to be a woman. Yes. And once they've trans into a woman, then they want to use the women's toilets because they are a woman. Oh, uh, but a lot uh, of women are a bit anxious about it because they see them as a man. Yes. You see? But what I'm saying is the best answer would just be unisex toilets. Yes. You know, and that's it. You might want to put a partition up where the urinals are. Mm -hmm. But then it depends. You see, you could also have a problem there because I would imagine, although the man may have trans to a woman, he might still have kept his original bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. So he might want to use the urinal. Uh, sorry, she might want to use the urinal. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think um, your new name's really, really good. Um, the new YouTube name you put on your title. Um, Do you like it, Martin? Radio. It's better. I think it's a lot better because I think people looking it up are more likely to stumble on it. Is that, is that what you want me to look, look up before, during the chat, through the week? you want me to look up something? Yes, I, I wanted read? you to look at the new YouTube channel name and see what you thought about it. It's the voice of the I, World Radio Talk Show. I think it's fantastic. I think it's, I think it's a lot better than the last one you put down. Yes, the internet phone in. Because uh, yes. I don't uh, think people are going to look up the internet phone in. No, no, they're not. Here's this wee guy, Jeff, saying, how long have you been broadcasting? When did you start? 40 years, Jeff. 40 years. There we are, fantastic. Martin is so full of joy, it's very comforting, says Pinky. Yes. What about that? There you go, Martin, a big compliment oh. to you. It's 1-0 to Martin. So are you are you on so much and take um take um take the highway at the moment? Yes, so? I haven't managed to have time to catch up this week, but I will get there at some point. Mm -hmm. I am I am I am got my East Enders box set today. Oh. Um, so I'll be back to nineteen eighty five right through to two thousand twenty two. Oh wow Martin, that is amazing. Yes, yes, it is. That is Every huge. episode of East Enders. That is absolutely huge. You are some man. Uh, Martin, it's always lovely to hear you. I'm going to press on now because okay. uh, the calls are coming in thick and fast. Okay, Scotty. And I hope we have more, more fast people than thick ones. Yes, correct. <laughs> lovely yes. to hear you. Take great care Love of you, your dear Martin. self. Love you. Love you, Lala. Dinky-doo. Lala.
There we are. That's our Martin. Fantastic. Uh, if you want to give us a ring, guys, feel free so to do. Scotland's still in the 17th century when it comes to open-mindedness. They are JD. This is why we have Scotty McClure. Because hopefully they will widen people's thinking. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Uh, can I get two fish shovels and two cans of iron blue, You certainly can, lad. They're on their way. Look out your window. Uh, now then. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Oh, good evening, Scotty. Yes, hello. How are you doing, Richard? I'm all right, Scotty. Good evening to you and thank you, too. A very good evening to you. Folks, this is Richard, our wonderful caller from Northern Ireland. Well, Scotty, I uh, enjoyed this morning's session. It was very, very good. Richard, I, I don't know. For you. some reason, it was just amazing this morning. It was fantastic, Scotty. But I want to compliment you on that new name for the radio station. Do you like I it? Think, I think that is outstanding, Scotty. Well, I think that's what we are. We are the voice of the world. A radio, and we are a talk show. And what I've done, Scotty, is, you know, I'm a big football fan, Scotty, and I've followed Manchester United all my life. Wonderful. So I have I have um, about 8,000 followers on Twitter. Oh, wow. So I've done a shout-out this morning, and I said to them all, don't forget to tune in to Scotty McClue. Oh, Come wow. to TikTok and see him, and go and subscribe on YouTube. Richard, that is so kind of you. Thank you very much because this will grow organically from within, from the people. Yes, Scotty. Uh, and, I, and I say to everybody you meet, whenever you join Scotty McClue's channel, you join a big, big international family. You do. We are a massive international family. And I'm just hoping the platforms wake up to that and give us the full backing. I well, they should, Scotty. You, they should. It's one of the best shows, and I enjoy it every week and every day that you're on. Do you know, so, I have to say this to you, Richard. It's great to hear your voice. When I was broadcasting out of Manchester on Century Radio, now it was a massive, massive radio station, and I know it's uh, people could hear it all over the place. And I remember a guy ringing me from County Down. And I said to him, I said, um, you know, are you, did you just chance upon it? He said, no, Scotty, we listen every night. He said, it's clear as a bell. And he turned his radio up for a second so I could hear it. And I could not believe we were booming right into County Down. Ah, oh, fantastic, Scotty. You know? Right. <laughs> and that's well, radio for you. Scotty, I don't want to hold the line because I know you've got loads of callers coming in. But think you do, and I will talk to you soon. And I'll Richard, be sitting watching you. You're I'm on the big screen, Scotty. Oh, wow. How does, it, screen. how does it look? It looks fantastic. <laughs> it looks fantastic. There is no problem with picture quality or anything. Oh, wow. That's great to hear, Richard. Bless you. Take care, Scotty. Take great care of your dear self. And dig it Dig it <laughs> What a top man. That's Richard in Northern Ireland. And he's saying everything is looking well. Is the old uh, TikTok clear, guys? Is everything fine on that one? There we are. That is phenomenal. Who have we got here? You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, dear. It's Kareem. How are we? Kareem, how are we, sir? Lovely to hear you. And thank you for all your kindness, as always. Not at all, Scotty. Any time, every little helps. <laughs> oh, uh, Kareem, it really, really does. You have no idea. It's fantastic. Well, you have an idea yeah. because you yes. do it all the time, and it's so good of you. Well, Scotty, I think it's more important now more than ever because you do this out the kindness of your own heart. This is coming out of your own pocket, and with the rising costs now of electricity and gas, you know, you know, I, I don't mind doing that. I'm sure others are in the same boat helping out. That's right, that's right. Well, I mean, it's electricity we're using. Most of the gas comes out my mouth. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, sorry, it was quite interesting that you're talking about the, the trans rights, etc. Yes. Um, and I, I want, there was a lot of, uh, there was a, a primary school up north in Inverness. 
Mm -hmm. And they wanted to test that idea about unisex toilets. Yeah. And the parents went into overload. They were totally against that. Um, and it, it just goes to show you that there's still a lot of places that haven't progressed or moved forward yet. No, it's very difficult to get people to think big picture. Uh -huh. You know, and when I was brought up, it was... Uh, you know, you never, ever go near a toilet when a lady is using the toilet, you know what I mean? All this sort of idea. So there was a kind of fear about it. And I think if we just accept that everybody has to lose, uh, you know, a bit of water, uh, you know, or a bit of something they're not needing anymore, and, um, you know, get on with it, I think we'd have a far more open, open society. A cubicle is a cubicle, and what you do in a cubicle is a tile up to you. You're not sharing experience no. with everybody else. It's no. Private, you know? And I think I think that's absolutely right. And as I say, we've got a loo in the house, and everybody that comes uses it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, it's quite interesting, though, Scotty, and, and it comes into, um, if I've understood this right, please correct me if I'm wrong, but there's still. In terms of people identifying, and that's fine when they're transitioning. Mm -hmm. I heard someone speaking saying that you have to be careful with that because I could identify that I am a god and that I am fantastic and pronouns, and if you don't respect my wishes, I'll be affected. Whereas that's wrong because you're not a god and you're not fantastic. Yes, and, and I, I think we also have to watch what right do people have right to be offended. Uh, do you, see, do you see what I mean? Because this being offended is very often used as a ticket for people to get their way in other areas of society. Yes. And I think uh, we have to watch that, you know, like people in the boardroom, you didn't give me that job because I'm a woman, so I'm going to sue you. You say, no, we didn't give you the job and we're quite happy to make you the results public. We didn't make the job because you weren't competent there were better candidates, and one of them was a male. Yes. Well, interesting enough, Scotty, I, 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 I forgot the professor's name, but I'm sure and he fights for both rights, but when you look at, and if we, if we look at feminism, that equality is obviously important, and we strive forward for that. But you can't ignore the fact that when you look at education, it's boys that underachieve. When you look at truck taking, uh, homelessness, it's men and boys that are percentage of what women. Yes. yes, because what's happened is you've got to watch. Males are being emasculated under the guise of feminism. And feminism is actually a government trick going back to the First World War when they realized that they could make a lot more money as a country by doubling the workforce. And it didn't really take effect until the 60s and 70s. You know, well, in fact, in, into the 80s. I mean, everything was kind of as it was till around 1980, right? In fact, till around Thatcher. Right. And then okay. things started to change. But this country had been running on an industrial revolution basis for 150 years. Yeah. yeah. You see? Yeah. Well, I would be asking Scotty, and I am for all equality, but it annoys me when there's inequality, especially towards males. But you look at teaching, there are far more females to males. And I'm probably shot down to say this stuff. What are we actively doing to encourage more males into teaching? Absolutely. Like schools, yes. The majority are female. Why are we not picking a first something like that? Yes. If you look Absolutely. at the veterinary school in the UK, the majority are female. Yes. Why are we not picking up a first about that? So the, what that means is that little children's formative years are being dominated by females. Correct. You know, so they're not yeah. getting a male influence. And so many young people nowadays lack a male influence in their upbringing. I guess, and especially with single parents as well. 
Yes, because so many fathers have done a runner or got flung out. Yeah, yeah. I just want—it's well, quite an interesting. I mean, you can touch on these so many brands. You can branch off into so many areas with this. Karim, this is why I love this phone in because we're starting to get to nitty gritty to see what the people think. We're we're getting our heads stuffed with what the politicians think, what the governments think, what the world leaders think. Great, that's fine, but we need to know what the people think. Yes, that's the important thing is the people. The politicians should be there serving the people. Yes, but that's things. changed. And Thatcher was partially responsible for that. She glamorized politics. Uh, they used uh, to say that politics were show business for ugly people. Uh, well, certainly not that nowadays. It's no, very, no, very it's all they're all glamorizing it and uh, taking hogging the news. It used to be the show business people that were on the news. Now it's the politicians. Then it was yeah. the journalists, and now it's the turn of the politicians. Yes. Um, what's your views before I go, Scotty? I know there's other callers about Channel 4 being uh, up in the market now. Well, I've actually done a TikTok video and a YouTube video on that, Kareem. So right. you'll, you'll be able to see that. I think, uh, you know, we shouldn't. I was appalled at the fact that the politicians didn't know what they were talking about. That's the first thing. They didn't know what they were dealing with. Now, Channel 4, you know, uh, is, is one of these. It started off as a kind of hybrid, and it's a fantastic channel. Channel 4 News was great for challenging and for getting to the bottom of the truth. And they're talking about flogging it for not very big money and for no real reason. If they're talking about raising yeah. money, why did they squander 250 billion quid on Brexit, 150 billion spent on the pandemic, flogging off one of our greatest media assets will not sort that because assets have been sold off and it doesn't yeah. always end well. Yeah. Because yeah. all it does is means you end up without without that particular asset. You see? I mean, say for instance, how can I give you an example? Say there was a big Scottish baker, right? And an American baker thought that big Scottish baker is making a fortune. We'll buy them. Yeah? And then what we're going to do? What we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll close most of the shops and pocket the money. And then you can order online and we'll do a wee delivery service. Do you see yeah. what I mean? And somebody says, yeah, I used to love Scotty McClure's pies, but you have to phone up for them now. Uh, effectively, they're killing the business. You know, so that's it. It's the asset stripping that worries me. If it went to some, yeah. uh, you know, big online streamer and they just streamed their stuff through it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's quite worrying um, times ahead. I, I think we're starting to see quite a lot well, there's a lot of question marks about privatization, in other words, making the people pay. Yes. Screwing, yes. screwing everything out of the people. So what happens, it doesn't become the National Health Service, it becomes a massive business. Absolutely. And somebody says, I oh, I, you can sort your health, but you'll have to pay. Well, Scotty, a lot of people, I think, are quite ignorant or arrogant when it comes to that, that they do not know the actual price for things. And I would like it. If you were in hospital, you get given a mock bill. This is the breakdown of everything that it's cost you. You'll get it for free. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Okay. That's, that's the whole thing. But I think because the pandemic has put such strain on the NHS. As I said to you a couple of weeks ago, I think we could do with two NHSs, one to deal with the pandemic and another to deal with all the everyday stuff. Well, Scotty, I don't know why they don't have like a, a direct, like a GoFundMe for the NHS, but it was direct. It's like the NHS one, Scottish one, the English one. For people, if they, want, if they pass on, they can leave a contribution to, them, to the NHS money's going into it. I yeah. think people would just 
Yes, yeah, so absolutely, but we also have to find out who's running it, where's the money going? Yeah. Do you see, I mean, this yeah. is it, where is the money going? And if it's going just to a big pharmaceutical company, do we want to do that, you know? Absolutely not, no, I get that, I know. Um, but I, I always say it's a very soft score team, and people are now starting to complain and by the end of this month or next month when everything is went up and they're getting absolutely shattered. Yeah. And I say, listen, I've said this on social media, you voted better together and a Tory United Kingdom. What do you expect? This is now Tory Brexit. Get on with it until there's Indirect 2. Absolutely. And the time for Indirect 2 is now. Yeah. Scotty, thank you very much for taking my call and thank you doing. I'll speak to you during the week. Privilege and a pleasure. Have a lovely week, Kareem. Thank you, do, Lala. Bye bye. Bye bye now. What a talk, man. Great caller, Kareem. You know, always very, very interesting. Can you say hi to my nieces, Jamie Lee and Ava Rose? I can, Lee. Lovely to have you with us, by the way, Lee. And thank you, do. Thank you for sending me a lovely red rose. Uh, there we are. Harry has followed. Richard has sent me a lovely donut. Thank you, Richard. Do you think you would do better than Boris and government better? Well, you see, you can't just point the finger at Boris. Boris has held many, many senior positions, a lot of them for not very long. But, uh, you know, he's, he's there and he's the man and he's doing it. And everybody voted him in because they were panic stricken that you might get Mr. Corbyn because Mr. Corbyn might have seen through everything. So you just want somebody that sort of, you know, goes, yes, yes, oh, marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. And, uh, and that's what they're wanting at the moment. But, uh, you know, we do have to take some serious action. Most of the world leaders now seem to be kind of much of a muchness. You know, it's almost as if they were all running the same script, giving each other their ideas every day. Dinky do, la la, beachy, beachy, dinky do, and thank you for my 10 beautiful TikToks on the TikTok. That is so good of you. Fantastic. Guys, the lines are open now if you want to come and join us. You're very welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, hashtag Floatai. Can you subscribe to the YouTube channel? Everybody subscribing. It's called Scotty McClue, voice of the world. There we are, radio talk show. Uh, you can't beat that. Uh, I've got a quote from Andy Magnus Names, uh, a medical organization uh, today. I'm 70 and they want £150 a month, I am in good health. Well, just you stay at that, Magnus. Don't be forking out. I'm sure there's other things you could do with your £150 a month. Mitch says, thank you, VJ, thank you. It was lovely to hear you both this morning. Scotty, I hope you're doing well. Sorry I missed a little of the show. Kenny, not at all. It's lovely that you're with us, the wonderful Kenny Drew. Uh, thank you again for all my lovely gifts. Uh, Richard says, I'm from White Abbey, 12 miles outside Belfast. I'll remember that, Richard. I hope I didn't offend by saying you were from Belfast. <laughs> Scotty, I hope you're well. We are Eden. Lovely to have you with us and thank you. And thank you for all your wonderful information on the bands. I like that. Uh, Scotty, I hope you're doing well. Sorry I missed a little of the show there. Yes, indeed. I prefer Conservatives than Labour. Labour can't even describe a woman who, say, has a cervix too woke. Yeah, but Labour are the party that, you know, sorted out the people. The problem is you can't really get a fag, a fag paper between political parties nowadays. We need a proper firebrand. And I think... Jeremy Corbyn, I mean, I'm no uh, a political animal, as you know, but I think Jeremy Corbyn would have been a very refreshing change for people in this country. Now then, who else have we got here? Dinky Do, good evening from Kent. Thank you very much indeed. So, Richard, would you rather I said uh, that you were from... Uh, I'm just checking it up again. Fantastic stuff. Oh, what have we got here? Listen to these phones going absolutely bananas. 
Would you rather I say it quite happy, Richard? Would that be better? I ask you fantastic stuff. Now then, lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, give us a call, folks, as soon as you possibly can. Thank you, and good evening from Kent, Elizabeth. How lovely to have you with us from Kent. I hope you're all enjoying the show, folks. Time is moving on incredible. We've got about 25 minutes left of the World's Top Phone In program on the World's Top platforms. We're on uh, TikTok. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook Live. We're on Twitch. If anybody's a Twitcher, Scotty underscore McClue. That's what it's all about, I see. Get yourselves onto that. Wonderful stuff. Uh, if someone says, I'm offended, you should reply, what's your point? We should adopt respect, Aiden. Good point, La. What's your point? Hi, Scotty. Alan, thank you, too. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome. What did you work as, says Jeff? I worked as a broadcaster, Jeff. I thought I told you that. Television, radio, yes, writing for the newspapers, all that, newscasting, uh, shipbuilding. So there you are. Well, I know a lot about shipbuilding. Uh, I think you're bamboozling with all your knowledge. So there we go. Who have we got here? You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Jonathan. Jonathan, how lovely to hear from you, La. How are you? Very, very good, thank you yourself. Oh, this is a privilege. I haven't heard from you for years. Well, I've been sort of, you know, overseeing some bits and bobs and touring the world. So, yes. back in Glasgow, uh, visiting some family, and uh, all I can see is what a dump. Uh, the place is Jonathan, the now, guys, can I tell you, Jonathan used to phone me uh, years ago. He is a massive, massive businessman. This is this is huge for the channel, because Jonathan is a serious, serious world businessman. And this is quite a privilege that he's chosen to phone us. Jonathan, can I just thank you for phoning us? Well, no, listen, I feel it was my duty. Um, you know, obviously being the top broadcaster that you are, as I say, it's, it's an honour to speak to you again tonight. But, uh, you know, I've just been you know, looking around and, you know, it's, it's abysmal. So the you you've come business. back home to Glasgow and you feel that it, is it just Glasgow that you think's a dump, or is it the UK? Uh, the UK is, you know, some London's doing fantastic. Right. London, you know, people have got a spring in their step. Uh, Glasgow. And Jonathan, am I right in thinking you've got a house in London? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, I've got a wee house down there. I've got a see small. Uh, Belgravia. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, listen. I've had it for a few years. Yeah. It's massively increasing value. Feel very really lucky. Um, as I say, but to show you this is a perfect example. My, um, you know, my house in London is probably tripling in value. The one in Glasgow has well pennies because nobody wants to live in Glasgow because you know the the people they see people make Glasgow they they make Glasgow look bad. That's unfortunately you know what was happening. You know the streets. I was driving down the street and uh, you know it's uh, my my wheels you know are, are pretty expensive and you know potholes. And it's not potholes, it's like junkies. It's, uh, you know, it's the amount of overweight people in Glasgow. You know, they should, they should just immediately close every takeaway. Jonathan, did you not takeaway. tell me your car was, was it 150,000 or 180,000? That, that was the old one, the new one's slightly more expensive. Right. Um, as I say, it's, so this one, as wow. I say, you know, it's, it's a nice sweet car. Um, but driving down the streets like Glasgow, for a start, people look at you. Uh, with disgust, they look at you because you, you, you know you get a nice car, um, and you know I, you know I'm driving around potholes, damaging the car, and you know I see all these unemployed people, and you know they're on this. I, I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called universal credit. Yes, of course it's, I have. Um, yes, it, absolutely. Yeah, so it's, it's like a, it's basically it's basically my money being given to them. So they're sitting at home watching satellite television, playing playing video games. And I'm spending it, I'm giving them the money. So what I personally feel, you know, I think that, you know, so many unemployed people doing nothing, done nothing during the pandemic. They should be just deployed onto the streets, cleaning the streets. Maybe, you know, people like myself who are high taxpayers being allocated time. I wouldn't say a servant, but somebody maybe that, you know, they, they'll do some tasks for me, clean the cars, clean the house, 
maybe you know the swimming pools they might actually get a net out and do something because my, my, my time is precious and you know these people are doing nothing else they sit there hand out sitting watching telly and they're, they're, they're sofas that they're again I'm paying for I don't say own these people but I'm paying for them so they should do something for me I see where you're coming from Jonathan you think if we had a better attitude from the people then there'd be more successful businesses well, exactly. I mean, for example, these two sitting at home right now with their universal credit, they can be doing something productive. So, for a start, they should, you know, I, I've seen, you know, they, they log into a system, I believe, and they just get handed money. It's uh, every, every, every two weeks, every month, it tops up. It's a disgrace. My money's good. Yeah, but Jonathan, Jonathan let's look at this from a practical point of view. If your car's worth, I don't know what, couple of hundred thousand, quarter million pounds. You're not going to let somebody just off the street take a bucket and sponge to that. I mean, it could be vetted. I mean, with technology now, we could have them vetted. You could check for, you know, a lot of these people obviously have criminal records and that stuff, so we'd have them vetted online. Um, obviously, then it could be a probation period. Um, and we could have some, you know, I just feel that, you know, they're sitting there wasting their time. You know, I'm paying for them. You know, if I wanted dancing monkeys, I'd go to a zoo. It's, uh, you know, so these people should just get back out, you know, contribute to society. I shouldn't be driving down the street, you know, my, my alloy should be damaged when they're sitting at home. These should be out there learning to fill potholes and film the potholes, you know, rather, rather than having these illegitimate children and things like that, you know. If they can't afford the children, you know, if it's showing people that, that they can afford them. Don't, don't have them in home. this day and age, there's no need for it. Jonathan, um, I'm very interested in your point of view. I'm going to put this to the nation and see what people think. And uh, it's, it's, it's great to hear from you because Scotland, if it goes independent, could do with a lot more wealthy business people. Well, listen, I think, actually, you know, I could maybe have a wee folly into politics. I think people would like to see me as a leader. Yes. You know, the more I talk to people, the more they, they're inspired. And they see, you know, well, you would know, you not say that a successful ideas. business person is a leader? Well, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm seen as a leader by, you know, my, you know, my people. So, I mean, I think the people of Scotland, the listeners, you know, whether in TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, you know, YouTube, whatever, I'm, I'm you know, more than confident that everybody will agree with me. Anyone who doesn't agree with me needs to, you know, boil their head, as you would say. Yeah, can okay, we invite on the heat? Jonathan, I'm going to put this to the I'm not going to get into an argy-bargy with you about it personally, uh, but I'm going to yeah. put it to the nation and see what the people say. It's a pleasure, Scotty, and I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, you take care. Thanks, Jonathan, and dinky do, sir. Thanks. Dinky do. Bye bye. Bye bye now. There, that's Jonathan. I remember Jonathan from way back. A very successful guy. Uh, Slangevar, it is. Says Whiskey Trek. Absolutely. Scotty Boy, how you doing, my good man? Says Big Hindo. I heard one person say that so and so was not charismatic enough. I'd prefer a boring, safe prime minister. Well, you see, when I was young, Aidan, politicians were not charismatic in that way. Well, I suppose you can't say that somebody like Winston Churchill, but he had a job to do. His job was to beat the Nazis. Uh, so, you know, he definitely had charisma. But politicians in general were people that just got on with it. You didn't really hear much of them, and you occasionally saw a headline in the newspapers about them, that sort of thing. And that was your politicians. Uh, you know, you know they've put a stop to oil and gas. Yeah, but I don't think they should be putting a stop to oil and gas. I mean, you know, the UK, Britain, uh, I know there's no such country as Britain, but Britain as a landmass, used to provide 75% of the world's coal. So there we are. Right, what have we got here? A um, bit more chat from all you lovely guys here. Um, I need to go back to the chat right from the start. Um, wow! Susan has sent me two pounds. Is that not absolutely beautiful? Thank you, Susan. There's so much happening here. Um, is that a phone in tonight, says Andrew Downey? Yes, Andrew. We've obviously had a few calls. I'm being back a bit here now. Um, can you shout out to the challenger? There we are. Yes, we've done that one. Tell 10 to tell 10. Um, who else have we got here? A man's a man, a woman's a woman. It's a load of nonsense, says Neil O'Gormley. 
Yeah, but not according to the woke people, Neil. Do you see what I mean? Beppe says, Dinky do. Are you not talking anymore? Martin says, Susan. Evening, Mr. McClue. Dinky do says, Robert Rovers. D says, Good evening, our handsome Scotty. You're very kind. Susan has very kindly sent me two pounds. Thank you, Susan. Um, now, who have we got here? Hi, Susan. How are you? Uh, so everybody's having a wee chat with Susan there. Uh, what have we got here? Um, might talk on Facebook later. So there we are. Scotty, turn the heating down. Gas is up 50%. No, it's just uh, the place is warm. There's no heating on, Charlie, at all. There we are. It's just I'm a very hot person. I'm wearing my big jumper. Uh, so who have we got? Do you think we should be fighting for the inequality of female bricklayers? Uh, about 95% are male. I remember about 30 years. You had a young lady on your magic network. She said you was pregnant and a bricklayer. Do you remember that? Yes, that was Susie. And you can still hear Susie on YouTube. You look up Scotty McClue, Susie on the YouTube channel. Has everybody subscribed on YouTube, guys? And are you following on the TikTok? Uh, so there we go. Now, we're getting back here. Good show tonight. Interesting chat and ideas. Don't forget Labour won in power when the 2008 financial crash happened. They are not perfect. F document. No political party is perfect. There we are. If you want perfection, you look at people like you and me. There we are. Fantastic. Scotty, uh, for, don't forget Master Pie Maker at McClue's Pies. Charlie, I thank you very, very much. Glasgow's a dump. I don't agree. Go back down to the big smoke, Johnny. Thanks, Jerry. Scotty, I've sent you two pounds. You have, Susan, and I'm very, very appreciative of it. I thank you. Yes, sweetheart, it'll be hard for you. Would Jonathan agree to 100% inheritance tax? That's when you die, you give it all to the government. Well, Magnus, I should have put that to him when he was on. There we go, fantastic. Donald Trump was a successful businessman, but he wasn't much of a leader. Well, I don't know, Tad. I don't think I would agree with that. Uh, Jerry agrees with you, though. Someone needs to tell blowhard Jonathan that 95% of people on universal credit are the working poor. There we are. Well, Blowhard Jonathan probably employs a lot of them, I would say, if you know what I mean. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, how you doing? Sorry, it's Gary from East Kilbride. Gary, you how lovely to have you with us from East Kilbride and a big dinky do to you. You probably say ta-ta. Ta-ta, <laughs> lad. Stick out your tongue and say ta-ta. <laughs> Aye. I'm almost here on the big screen. Oh, wow. How's it looking, Gary? Well, uh, I've got a big fat on the screen and you're dead right in my face, Scotty. Oh, Elliot. my goodness me. I do apologise. I hope you don't mind. Ah, oh, come on. How are you doing, Amy, sir? Hey, no, we're dinky-doo. Here's somebody saying Big Hindo, SNHS, the Scottish National HS, is the way forward. <laughs> well, I don't think anybody's told Big Hindo that there is already the Scottish NHS. Because it's oh, devolved, you see, how it's devolved. I can, I can see a wee bullet, and yeah. I can see yourself prompting at the same time. <laughs> well, well, there's a delay. I there's know, delay. We've, already, <laughs> we've already done it. <laughs> oh, God. Now, how are you doing? Are you enjoying the show? Ah, uh, I've been talking to you for numbers of oh, years. Oh, years, years and years God, and years, you know. Gary. You can't put a yeah. time on it. No, you cannot. And Scotty, can I tell you one thing? Right, um, Chris was there. Oh, Gary, I'm sorry to hear that, lad. I know, I'm only, I'll be 47 on the 22nd of April. Yeah, but listen, you know, listen, um, listen, cardiovascular setup is no respecter of age. Yeah. You know, oh, but know, listen, I you, know, you know, should, you channel, should, Scotty, you know, I yeah, channel, but, but right. Gary, Gary, you should be making a full recovery, yes? Yes, exactly, but Scotty, you know what? You got a flight? You got it? No, I, I'm, I'm still drinking, but I'm trying to cut it out. I shouldn't be drinking, no. you know, but... No, you should not, but I, the alcohol is very harsh. 
Yes, but at least I've come up with some great Scotty. Get rid of the fags, they're the bad ones, because they close up your veins. Scotty, Scotty, see your pal, Kareem, Kareem's cool. He is cool, isn't he? Kareem? Yeah, he's cool. Aye, he's cool in the hood. He's cool, he's a dude that's good in the hood. But he's not as good as you, Scotty, because you're my main man, you're my pal. You and I, you and I are great characters, but Gary, you must oh, look aye. after yourself, lad. Aye, but I was getting nervous coming on the channel, was not. I better not be nervous. No, nervous. you don't need to be nervous talking to me ever. Mm. You know, no, that's what's about, and it's great that you've called, and I'm so glad to hear from you again. Yes, but you do remember me, Scotty, do you? Of course oh, I yeah. do, yes. You and I, we've been chatting for years, lad. I don't know why I said Dingy. Like, I, I thought, I'm talking Scottish here. You're Dingy talking Dingy Scottish. Well, we understand a bit of Scottish, <laughs> although the show is now aye, international. Aye, international Scottish. International. What about that? Scotty McClure right across the world. Stick your tongue and say, ta ta, good night. Yeah, I'm going to say ta ta to you, but look after yourself. See you later, pal. Ta ta, la la. See you later. See you later, la. That's our Gary. You're live in Scottish phone in, who's that? Hello? You're live in Scottish phone in? No, can't hear us. Anyway, no problem at all. We need a new government system altogether. One who answers to a council of impartial people. Uh, no GoFundMe. Tax the multinationals fairly. Good one, Aidan, because that's what we've got. We're, we're surrounded now by big business and they're working the people from the back. So we need to seriously look at windfall taxing. I think Boris should just do the big thing, grow a full set and stand up to the gas and electric companies and say, we've made you what you are today through privatisation. You're making billions. Give the people free power for a year, for five years until this dies off. There we are. Uh, now, who have we got here? Gordon Brown and Margaret Thatcher sold our gas and electric to our counties, to our counties, to benefit their own pocket. Well, not their own pockets, but to benefit the um, chancellor's uh, chest, if you like. There, so there we are. But you see, the problem is, and I've said this for years, once you start selling off the family silver, what do you do when it's gone? What do you sell then? There we are. Very, very strange. Uh, universal credit is a way to help people like Jonathan pay low wages. John O'Rourke, very good point. There we go. Absolutely. Uh, who have we got here? Stop the fighting at football matches. Martin, I think if, there's, if, you, if you're found fighting at a football match, you get a lifetime ban from football and a long prison sentence. And that'll put a stop to it. Trust me. So there we are. Hi, Scotty. Dinky do, Shorty. Nice to have you with us. And there, yes, Scotty says, Mr. Kill. Fantastic. Sorry if you're lost, Shorty. Uh, we have, and he mentions private medicine here. My dad in 2004, he needed a triple bypass. 125,000 pounds. Uh, he's 76 now. Well, interesting. Are you okay? We're okay. Yep. Uh, we need revolution. The entire system. Make a better one from the ground up. Big Hindo. A perfect summing up of Corbyn. Absolutely, Aidan. I mean, he was very, very close to getting in. People forget that. And then the media turned on him and did what they did to Donald Trump in America. So we need to say... Why don't we have a media blackout during an election? There we are. What about that? And you only have neutral people like Scotty McClure on. Uh, I'd love to know about you. Do you have a book? Jeff, I don't have a book. I'm writing a, a novel at the moment. You'll get it on YouTube. But uh, no, everybody says, when are you going to bring out the book, Scotty? Ooh, there'll be a lot of nervous people around if McClure brings out the book. Beachy, beachy. S. McSee, Voice of the World. Absolutely, Beachy, Beachy. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? 
It's me, myself, and I, the three oh, lines nutter. Professor Numpty Heed, how are you tonight? <coughs> Wonderful, Scotty. Makes yeah. a change like but I'm marvellous. Oh, you are marvellous, Numpty Heed. I think you've always been marvellous. I think you're what we call self-deprecating. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Now, Scotty, I've got a complaint. It's yes, good. Unusual. Complain away. Now, I've got a wildlife outside my window, the birds. The birds? Ah, uh, yes. And, uh, and the squirrels. Yes. Now, I went and got one of the bird tables that you can hook things on for the fat balls and the dishes for the, the seeds and the water. Absolutely, you're awfully kind. Aye, but Scotty, the, the birds, they've moved in. They've moved into the house. No, no, they went and built a two-storey nest and they moved the family in. Aye, absolutely. So you've got the lot of them now because they've said, this guy's a great place. Aye, aye, they're taking the liberty. I don't mind feeding them, but I don't want them moving in. And, he, and he'll feed us. It's fantastic. That's what it's all and about. He, now, listen, you're spending far too much time on the social media. I don't think it's doing your health any good. It's not the thing, is it? Absolutely. I'll need to watch later life. We'll have to get you help. Oh, this is later life, isn't it? Yes. Indeed it is, Scotty. So there we are. There we are, Dr. Heed. Are we going to get me a nine o'clock shows at night? Uh, well, we'll see. we'll see how we go. Because you seem to have the time for the mornings. Uh, oh, I, the mornings are quite good. What do you think? It means well, you're I getting out your bed kind of sharp, does it know? We're on our beds when you're on in the morning. Aye, does it mean you're getting out kind of sharp now? Well, it depends. It depends if I fall asleep early the night before or I'm up early the following morning. <laughs> Here's Ted. What do you think of this, Numpteed? Being offended is good. It makes for great conversations. Scotty, you know, I didn't understand the, the, the carry on about this, these toilet carry yeah. ones, the transitioning toilets. We're so we just using the one toilet. You know, I can sit down for a pee. A lassie can stand for a pee, so there's no problem. Absolutely. You know, I mean, that's just what goes on. You know, it's the same as the hoose. Absolutely. So one toilet fits all. So no, it's a problem. I one toilet fits all. On that note, Numpty Heed, I am going to dash off. Right, yeah, then. We'll see you next week. Uh, we'll see you next week, la la. Stick your tongue right, out yeah. and say ta ta. Da da. da, -da. Fantastic. Oh. Scotty, I played the didgeridoo in your station in 1997. Good to see you're well. Del boy, how lovely to hear from you. After a pint or two, let's go here and argue. I love others' perspectives. Ted, you're quite right. Good point, Lala. Scotty, can you just give me a big smile, please? Jeff? Big smile for you, Lala. There we go. Fantastic. Um, Del Boy says, get this guy off. He's depressing everyone. No, that's Professor Numpty. He never depresses anybody. Nice week, bro. Thank you. Their friends deluded. Very sad attitude, says Aiden. Uh, it's in the blood arguing, says Ted. Scotty, this man, uh, get him off. Matthew, you cannot tear everyone with the same brush. So there we go. Uh, Scotty McClue, how do you do? Says two pints. Awesome, Winston. Yes. Felt a bit national pride today seeing Boris in the Ukraine. Doubt we'd see Nicola there. Oh, no, no I, I wouldn't doubt that. You'll probably see her there yet. Good afternoon from Central Florida. Had this conversation in Wyoming seven years ago to provide natural gas to European countries. We have. Good one, Ted. Hey, man. So there we are, unrelated to politics, but there's this girl I really like, but I don't know how to talk to. Peter, just be yourself, la, because you're going to end up being yourself anyway. That's the best advice. That's what it's all about. Uh, who else have we got here? I was pioneering a way for Europe not to depend on Russian natural gas. Seven years ago, Ted, you're some man. The global crash was caused by a housing crash in the States. Gordon Brown performed miracles, says Aidan. Very good, Aidan. Good chat. I'm going to have to go, guys. Love you lots. Night, night. Oh.